Hi, I'm Marcus Cole with the West Virginia Soccer Association and welcome to the first edition of the WVSA vlog. It is a monthly feature that uh, we're going to be talking with administrators and folks within the West Virginia Soccer Association talking about the various programs and upcoming courses and activities. Just another way that we're trying to keep you informed of what's going on within the West Virginia Soccer Association. Up first with us is Mike McCarthy, State Referee Administrator. Mike, welcome to the vlog. Thanks, Marcus. It's great to be here. I uh, appreciate you having me, uh, giving me the opportunity to, to encourage folks to get recertified for the, for the upcoming badge year. Yeah, let's go ahead right into it and talk to us about uh, what folks need to do if they need to recertify as a referee. All right, excellent. So the certification for your referee license is on a calendar year basis. So if you became a referee anytime before December 31st of 2021, um, you might need to recertify. Uh, you can log into the Learning Center and check your profile to see if your license is current or not. But in most cases, people will need to, uh, to recertify. So we have the process available online uh, through our wvsareferees.org website. I'm just going to share my screen real quick and kind of walk people through that. So here's the website, again, wvsareferees.org. We'll have any program news updates here on the left, which indeed mentions the recertification, as well as a calendar of events here on the right. And as we move closer and closer to the spring season, that calendar will become populated with events, cups, state league, and that sort of thing. So on the four referees menu selection at the top of the page, the second item down is recertification. You click on that, it takes you to a selection, tells you again, this is the 2022 badge year. Uh, and most of our referees are uh, grassroots referees. They're the ones who do the, the vast majority of the games uh, in West Virginia and even across the country. So by clicking on the grassroots recertification course link, you'll be redirected to the U.S. Soccer Learning Center directly into the 2022 Grassroots Referee Recertification course. You'll have the opportunity to register for the course. The cost is $40. Um, if your background check, if you're over 18 years old and your background check has expired, uh, then you'll be prompted to also submit the application to renew that background check. And that will be $30 on top of the $40. If any other license requirements are uh, out of date as well, such as your safe sport training or your introduction to safe and healthy playing environments, those will be highlighted to you as well, um, usually on your referee profile. So if you come to your referee profile, you can look at the status of all of your requirements for your referee recertification. The recertification is entirely online. Uh, can be done probably in the course of an hour or maybe two hours. Uh, and again, the cost there is $40. So we encourage people to get that recertification done now so that you are ready to go once the spring season uh, begins uh, for all of our participating leagues. And I think part of the thing too that we need folks to understand is that if you need to um, uh, have your uh, risk management, your background check updated right. that you need to get that done early because sometimes that, you know, takes a while to kind of come back. And, you know, we've got West Virginia State League coming up in, gosh, two months from now. So, uh, I mean, even though we got a lot of snow on the ground right now, we got to start thinking about that. But, uh, you know, that takes a little while to get back. So uh, we need uh, referees that are coming back to, and recertify. We need to, you to get on it right now. Absolutely. And we have no control over how long that background check might take. It's not something that I can speed up. Uh, so it's important for folks to start this process early. Excellent. All right. Now, what if there's somebody out there that wants to become a referee for the first time? What do they need to do? Okay, excellent. Uh, we can go to the same website. Let me share my screen again. And again, wvsareferees.org. And one of the top menu links here is to become a referee. And this link will discuss and explain the entire process. In a nutshell, you create a free profile in the US Soccer's Learning Center. 
you take an online course the new grassroots referee training module itself takes about four and a half to five hours to complete it doesn't have to be all in one sitting you can pause and come back to it and work your way through it um, the introduction to safe and healthy playing environments module takes probably about an hour to 90 minutes to complete and then for people who are 18 years or older they also need to complete a safe sport training and as we've mentioned before that background check uh, so the whole process uh, probably takes a total of about six to eight hours to complete the online portion and that can be done at any time and uh, other than the background check at no cost so if you're interested in becoming a referee for the spring season you can start today and get a head start on that online work to complete the process then you attend an in-person field training session these sessions last between two and four hours they are in person uh, at various venues around the state uh, we don't have any of those scheduled for the spring yet but if you go ahead and start the process of the online course we will notify you as those events do become available we're probably looking at one in the charleston area as early as february uh, and then maybe again in the charleston area uh, in march but our, our objective this year is to have this calendar populated, uh, hopefully by the end of January, uh, and to have several sessions at various places, the Eastern Panhandle, Northern Panhandle, uh, Southern Coal Fields, wherever we can find a facility that will be willing to host such an in-person field session. Once that session is complete, you're a referee and you can begin ex uh, accepting game assignments, both in West Virginia and beyond. And the cost for that is also uh, the same $40 uh, registration fee, plus potentially the $30 background check if the uh, candidate is 18 years or older. What's great is that uh, West Virginia Soccer Association provides a lot of support for our referees as far as not only mentoring, but also as a new referee. Okay, now that I'm a referee, where do I get assignments from? Who do I need to contact? Um, you know, we provide help you uh, find people so that you can start working in your local community and participating in the grassroots program and uh, and earning a little bit of money and uh, having a lot of fun. Yep. And if I can uh, share my screen just one more time, since yeah. you mentioned that, uh, just to make sure that our existing referees are aware of this, back on our state referee program website, on the four referees drop down menu, we have a list of West Virginia League referee assigners. So these are uh, the assigners, at least as far as we're aware, of all the leagues uh, that are affiliated with the West Virginia Soccer Association around the state. So if you're a new referee or a returning referee, you're looking to get games in your community, or if you're looking to spread out and accept assignments potentially in other parts of the state, this contact list will tell you how to get in touch with the assigners for each of those leagues. And I promise you, they will appreciate your help. Oh gosh, yes, no doubt. Yeah, if anybody who has played soccer within the last year or so, um, you know, getting referees has been difficult and, uh, um, you know, getting folks out there and uh, uh, we encourage anybody that wants to become a referee uh, to become a referee, uh, have a lot of fun. And like Mike McCarthy always says, the best seat in the house to watch a match. It absolutely. is. you get to see the passion, the excitement, the talent, the skill, the effort that those players invest into the game. It's absolutely inspirational. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming on the vlog today, Mike, and uh, we'll speak to you next month. All right. Look forward to it.